Okay, I'm back again. I'm going to do my Three Stooges collection. Um, still got a few more things I want to get in this collection, but I pretty much have most of it. Um, first is, I originally, story about this box set, I bought the volumes as they came out. And then, I'm sure I'm not the only one, got upset when they were going to release all the volumes in a box set with an extra volume of rare uh footage from the vaults and one of the titles was Have Rocket Will Travel which hadn't been released on DVD at the time and I only had a VHS tape copy and quite upset so I went ahead and sold surprisingly I got lucky sold my volumes for practically what I paid for them like 20 bucks a pop and I ended up getting the this box set um, at Best Buy for thirty four ninety nine, which I thought was a good deal. So I actually made out better. I bought this and saw had extra money over. But anyway, enough about that. Um, kind of go over this real quick because this is going to be a long video. Um, this is the outside, kind of embossed on the outside, but really, really flimsy cardboard to hold it in. But um, kind of. There's the, uh, everything, everybody wanted this when it came out. Rare Treasures from the Columbia Pictures Vault. And it drove me nuts because they were stackable. They were, they were stacked on top of each other, so I just bought some sleeves and stuck them in there. That was, uh, kind of frustrating because I don't like that because they, they lay on top of each other. Anyway, uh, Disc 1 has Rocket in the Rockies, which is another one that I wanted. And have Rocket Will Travel. Um, and then there was the Three Stooges Columbia Cartoons. Uh, bon Bon Parade. Merry, Merry uh, Mutineers. And a Hollywood Detour. And then there's some solo uh, shorts of Shemp. And a bunch really. And Joe Besser and Joe Dorita. But I'm not going to read them all off. But, and then the rest are like our common ones that we, we know. Uh, volume 1. Uh, I actually left the cellophane uh, on them to keep these nice so they don't rub against each other. Uh, set them here. Volume 2, which is actually my favorite volume. Volume 3. Let's see that. Volume 4, Volume 5, which is the last volume with Curly, because then he ended up having his stroke. And then Shemp came back with Volume 6 and 7. And there's 3D glasses in here, because there's a few 3D episodes. The 3D gives me a headache, so I don't really do much of 3D. My end volume 8, the biggest volume, three discs. This is all J Joe Besser with them. Kind of I'll put these back later. And I have some old dollar store ones. The three Stooges cartoons. And a, another volume 2, the new Three Stooges. And another, the new Three Stooges set. They have the complete series out. I need to pick that up. It's on my list. So you have all of the, the cartoon shorts. Voiced by the Three Stooges. I'd also like to see the, uh, what was it? The Bion Bionic Stooges. It came out, I think, a little bit later. That's not voiced by them. But I really would like to have that as well. I think everybody has this. The 75th Anniversary Box Set. They've released and released and released this so many times, but I think this is the the original set that talks. But I think mine's pretty much died. But I used to say some some of the lines from the shorts, but it's pretty much shot now. Um, it comes with a bunch of pictures of the from some of the shorts that are on here. 
and a th it's just a 3D DVD box set. Has some cartoons, the four public domain episodes. Kind of just the same stuff we've been seeing for a long time. And then the Three Stooges, the movie. I actually saw this in theaters. Uh, I'll never compare it to the original Stooges, but it was um, not a bad movie. I actually liked it. So hopefully nobody gets upset. But yes, I really did enjoy this movie. Uh, the Three Stooges. It's uh, I. This is actually an on, an on demand movie. I bought. I've always wanted it. I watched it with my dad on AMC. But this is with Michael Chiklis. Um, who else was in this? I can't remember the names. I just remember Michael Chiklis. But pretty good movie. This is one that I've had since I was a kid. Has a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, Jerks of all trade. Um, of Swing Parade, which I actually do like. Um, and the same four episodes, I'm pretty sure. Disorder in the Court, Sing a Song of Six Pants, uh, Malice in the Palace. <laughs> that, the same kind of stuff. <clears throat> Triple Whammy. This is a lot of TV uh, shots and interviews and so much stuff. Um, I usually don't like the in-color stuff, but I but I do have it just because it's, it's a change. Um, I don't mind it. But there's like the Three Suitors Live and the Ed Wynn Show. Uh, some, a bunch of the trailers. Uh, Heavenly Days, an episode. Um, lots of TV sketches. So really, really nice to have this. And all the volumes. Uh, it's a nice box set that Legend Films put out. Snow White and the Three Stooges. This was a... Uh, 20th Century Fox film. Uh, classic, more classic cartoons with the Three Stooges. This is this. These were actually a box set, but I lost the cover. This, same stuff. Some of Shemp's solo shorts and the same four episodes. <laughs> uh, more classic shorts in color and uh, Swing Parade. Or not, I bought it because Swing Parade was restored and you could. It came with a black and white version. Well, you can turn off the black and white, I'm pretty sure. Um, I hate the uh, commentary for this uh, before the shorts. I don't like the guys that do that in this. I talk about the shorts. Cannot stand them. So if you have that DVD, maybe you have the same thoughts. Stooges on the Run. These are all episodes in, or shorts in color. Uh, Stooged and Confused, Hapless Halfwits, and Goofs on the Loose. And they have like four episodes, four shorts in each. And of course you get Disorder in the Court again. Um, and Brideless Groom. I mean, you just get the, you, you always get stuck with those episodes. Shorts, I keep calling them episodes, but they're shorts. Um, the Three Stooges, Gold Raiders, and Meet the Baron, which also has uh, Jimmy Durante in it. This came in a box set, too. Of, I have one of Laurel and Hardy. I don't have the Abbott and Costello one yet. One of their first films, Soup, Soup to Nuts. This is another 20th Century Fox with uh, Ted Healy. This was before Shemp left. To try to pursue his solo career. Um, I actually wish I could have seen more Stooges in this. And less Ted Healy. Um, this was in the fight. It been a six movie set. And it's. Have Rocket Will Travel. The Outlaws is coming. Rocking the Rockies. Three Stooges go around the world in a daze. The Three Stooges meet Hercules. And Time Out for Rhythm. Now, I didn't have time out for rhythm, so that's the main reason why I picked it up. But actually, these have better. Minus have rock will travel because that was uh, re restored on the box set. But pretty good film quality on these. They just released them on Blu-ray, so this will 
I'll be switching this out. My nephew likes them, so I'll probably give that to him and get the Blu-rays. But I also have the older editions of Three Studios Meet Hercules. The Outlaws is coming. The Three Stooges in Orbit. And the Three Stooges Around the World in a Daze. Um, like I said, these these needed restoring. And this set actually gives you some decent uh, film quality. I, I know it's hard to say because it's Mill Creek, but they did a nice job on these. And that is my Three Stooges collection. Um... Probably my favorite is definitely the all the the 190 shorts, uh, the box set, um, and some of the movies. Some of it's just because I'm a completist. Um, I don't, I didn't really care for Soup to Nuts, but uh, or Snow White and the Three Stooges really. But uh, all the rest, I, I just kind of have. Just some of it was also from when I was a kid, and I wanted to keep it. But that is uh my collection. Thanks for watching. Peace.